I've been following Oklo stock because of its innovative approach to powering data centers that are optimized for artificial intelligence. And of course, I've been following those large cap tech companies like Amazon, Microsoft, Alphabet, and others that are spending tens of billions of dollars building these new data centers. And they've signaled that they're going to spend even more next year and the year after that. So I know the strong demand for these data centers optimized for AI is growing. And one of the main constraints to build those data centers is finding enough power to support the power hungry data centers for their computing power for artificial intelligence. So that's why I've been following Oclo and I've been looking at the recent developments and I wanted to talk to you about what's going on lately with Oclo stock. So let's take a look. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so the management team said that they continued their NRC engagement for reactor licensing and secured a key Department of Energy agreement for project execution at the Idaho National Lab, including environmental compliance permits from the Department of Energy. So... Along with the power hungry needs of these data centers, local governments, state and federal understand that power is the main constraint here. And governments are interested in helping facilitate the building of these data centers because that creates a lot of job, that creates a lot of tax revenue, and they wanna be a part of that, they wanna support that. So they've been working with companies like Oclo that are developing these innovative technologies in the private sector to help power these data centers. And so the government has not taken this restrictive approach to these newer data centers. They are taking a how can we help kind of approach. And that's good news for a company like Oclo that needs significant approvals and, and regulatory OKs to go ahead and build their innovative energy to support the data centers. So they signed letters of intent with two major data centers for up to 750 megawatts of power. They also signed a letter of intent to acquire atomic alchemy for radio isotope production. And this is going to help the company with uh, recycling, getting money for some of the products that it generates as a outcome of its primary course of action, right? This is something that's going to be created out of its primary source of power supply, and it wants to capitalize on that. And so it acquired Atomic Alchemy that will help get money for some of their uh, out products. So regarding their regulatory and permitting progress, they are targeting to submit their combined license application for the Idaho project next year with several follow-on applications within a year's time frame. So this is a multi-step process that they've already started. They're already getting these incremental approvals and it's gonna take time before they get their final approval and get these things up and running. Aklo anticipates a 24 month review timeline with the NRC to get approval for their first site. And during the application review period, they will also advance site preparation and initiate some construction activities in parallel. They expect to bring their first reactor online in late 2027, late 2027. So this is a long term initiative here. We're in late 2024. So we're talking three years at the very least, or perhaps they might go ahead of schedule. But according to their forecast, they're expecting three years until their first reactor comes online. But a lot of work needs to be done between now and then, and a lot of work is happening right now at the company. So this doesn't mean that they're just sitting around waiting for these approvals. They are extremely busy working with these sites, getting the approvals, and then talking to customers, thinking about how they're going to construct these contracts because that hasn't been finalized yet the terms of these agreements, all of that needs a lot of work and attention. And that's what the company is very busy doing right now. So the first combined license will become a reference license, which will then allow them to submit subsequent licenses with the focus only on changes from the original. So zooming out a little bit, their business model is to build multiple reactors to support the data center 
co-location, right? So next to that data center, a small, you know, relatively small power facility to help power those data centers. And then after they get approval for that first one, they want to do another one and another one and another one. But if those other power facilities are similar to the first one they built, the approval process will be a lot easier because they're doing similar uh, everything. But if they need to make changes, that's when it's going to get more difficult because then they need to get approval for those changes. So the key here for Oclo is going to be the repeatability of the process or the standardization of the process. Can they standardize these sites so that they can duplicate them elsewhere? And if they can, that's going to make the business a lot more lucrative and it's going to make the business a lot more profitable because the approval process will go faster and they can get these sites up and running more quickly. So they made substantial progress this quarter with two key milestones. They finalized a memorandum of agreement with the Department of Energy, which grants them access to conduct site investigations. And they secured an environmental compliance permit. So they're hitting milestones, they're making progress, and each one of these milestones is very important for a company like Oclo because each step along the way makes it easier for them to get investor capital. It makes it easier for them to sign deals with customers because customers and lenders and investors will see them as making reasonable progress and will give them a higher probability of success. And so would be more willing to invest with them, more willing to engage with them in conversations. The Department of Energy has approved Oclo's conceptual safety design report for the Aurora Fuel Fabrication Facility. Again, another important step in its milestone in the development of these nuclear power facilities. And these steps, again, will help the company make steps forward. Now, they are well capitalized, right? They have hundreds of millions of dollars on the balance sheet, and they only went through about $25 million all year. So they don't need any more investor money at this point. But by hitting these milestones, and making this progress, it gives them an opportunity to opportunistically raise more capital. If they see it as they're getting good terms on the deal, they'll go ahead and secure more funding because this is a very risky endeavor and you never know how much money you're gonna need or how long this process will take. They're targeting late 2027, but there could be delays. And so you wanna be capitalized for that. You wanna be ready for that. You don't wanna go to investors in a moment of desperation. You want to go to investors when things are going well so that when you are in a time of desperation, you don't need to go to investors because they'll charge you an arm and a leg for financing in those moments. So, so far so good for Oclo and Oclo stock investors. I'll keep a close eye on this company. It's one of the more innovative companies I'm following and one of the more interesting ones given the progress in build outs of these data centers and how much money these large tech companies are spending on these newer data centers. Hey everyone, I'm excited to announce that my book is finally available for sale. I've been working on it for more than a year now, so I'm really excited to finally share this with you now. It goes through my framework for evaluating stocks. Some of you often ask why I like this stock or why I like the other stock. And this framework provides you the things that I look at when I'm evaluating stocks. I've added the link in the description below.